Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to uh, factor uh, this uh, polynomial by grouping. And when we're looking into factoring by grouping, we always see whenever, you know, basically I tell students, whenever I see four terms, think of factoring by grouping, right? Um, because we have a method pretty much for three terms and two terms, but for four terms, we only have one method, which is grouping. So to do grouping, all I'm simply going to do is group the first two terms and group the last two terms. Now, when doing this, I'm going to now look at each group and factor out the GCF. If I don't have a GCF, then what I'll do is I'll um, re, um, I can switch around these two. Now, in this one, you can see uh, I switch around the middle terms and then try to see if you have a GCF. Here, I do have a GCF, which would be y squared. So let's at least go and attempt this and see if this works. So if I factor out a y squared, that's basically like dividing a y squared from both these terms. Therefore, then I'm left with 2y minus 3. Okay. Then I look at, um, actually, let's write this here. Let's use the red again. Then I look at these two terms and I say, all right, what is the common factor between 18y and negative 27? Well, again, we look at the numbers. They don't both share a y like these two terms did. Um, but they, the coefficient and the constant do have a common factor of 9. So I can factor out a positive 9. And when factoring out a positive 9, I'm left with 2y minus 3. Now, it's very important when you're doing factoring by grouping, the idea of it is when you factor out the GCF, that now inside the parentheses is the exact same expression. So if you don't have that, it's either you did something wrong, the problem is not factorable, or you need to rewrite those middle terms and then go ahead and try it again. But in this case, I factored out my GCFs and I obtained the same expression inside the parentheses. Now, since this is exactly the same, this is common between these two expressions that are separated by the addition sign. So therefore, since it's common to both of them, I can factor it out. So therefore, I factor this out, which would leave me with 2y minus 3. And left over, I have y squared plus 9. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor by grouping. Thanks.